What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 7,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But in today's video, my number one goal is to teach you guys how to put braided line onto a bait caster. And this is a really good topic for beginners that are just getting into bass fishing. So I figured why not make the video. And I actually filmed a video like this in the past and it did really well on my channel. I think it's at like 17,000 views. So I figured why not make another video for 2021 on how to spool braid onto a bait caster. So, and just to make things clear, this is not the only way or not the only like technique to put braid onto a bait caster. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, but in my opinion, this is my favorite way and this is how I was taught growing up. So I really like this method and I hope you guys do too, but make sure to stay till the end of the video and learn my favorite way how to spool braid onto a bait caster. So let's hop right into the video. We'll see you in a sec. So before we get into today's video, I wanted to quickly go over the gear that we're going to be using starting off with the bait caster. This is a Luz Mach 2 bait casting reel. And if you guys can see that, it is a badass looking reel. It's a 7.5 to 1. And I usually use this for flipping jigs or anything Texas rigged. And it is a workhorse, guys. I've caught all kinds of fish on it. I think I've got like two or three of these. So I really recommend them if you're in the market for a new bait casting reel. But next up, I got Power Pro 50 pound test red braid. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but in my opinion, the red braid is the best because you can really see it in the water. A lot of guys use the dark green Power Pro braid, but I don't really like that. It's super hard to see in the water. So I typically get red braid because you can see it super easy in the water and you can really see when that fish hits your lure. So I just wanted to go over the gear, but now I'm gonna show you how to put this braid on the Luz Mach 2 bait caster. So first off guys, you're gonna wanna get your braid and feed it through the very first eye closest to the bait caster. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And like I said, this is my favorite way to spool braid on a bait caster. It's not everyone's favorite way, not everyone does it like this, but in my opinion, it's the easiest and it really holds down super nice. But next up, you're gonna wanna put your braided line through this little hole right here and get it to the spool. I don't know if you guys can see the little holes right there on the spool, but if you guys can see the little holes right there, they're like almost little wiffle ball holes, you're gonna wanna feed your line through one of those holes and tie a knot right to the spool. And in my opinion, this is the easiest way to do it because your line is not gonna be slipping on the spool. It's gonna tie, be tied directly to that little hole right there. So, so guys, I'm trying to get you a good view, but it's sort of hard to hold up the reel and do this all while filming. But I'm gonna try to get you guys the best view. But right now, like I said, I'm just feeding the braided line through that little hole right here on the spool. And like I said, this is my favorite way to do it. Not everyone does it like this, but this is just the way I was taught. But right now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the line is through those holes right there. And you're now you're just going to want to tie an overhand knot. It's super simple, guys. And now your line is not going to slip on the spool. So right now, I'm just tying an overhand knot. And you want your line as tight to the spool as possible. So you don't want any, I don't know what you would call it. You just want your line as tight to the spool as possible, just like that. And make sure to tie an overhand knot and clinch it down super tight. So right now that's what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna make like two or three knots just to make sure that it's super tight. So guys, I don't know if you can see that, but I tied my first knot right to those holes and I'm just going to tie a couple more little overhand knots just to make sure that it's super tight on there. Probably going to do three just to make sure. And then I'm going to grab some pliers and clip off the access line so it's not super long. But there we go. It's super tight right now. 
just like that. Now I'm just gonna have to cut this line right here and then I'm gonna show you another thing that I do. So right now I'm gonna get the pliers and just cut this line as close as I can so I don't have a bunch of line just hanging out down there. So now I cut that. I'm gonna grab a piece of tape I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is super tight to the spool right there. And it's really, I don't know guys, I just really like doing like doing it like this. But I'm gonna grab a piece of tape, just a little tiny piece of tape. And I'm gonna put it right over that knot right there so it really holds it down on the spool. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And that tape is going to hold it super secure on to the spool. So I'm just clenching the tape down right now on the spool. And I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but it's holding that knot super tight down. And now it's super tight, guys, right there. Check that out. Super cool, super easy way to get your braided line onto the bait caster without having any slippage on it. So right now... The main thing you have to do, you want your drag as tight as possible. This little lever right here, you want the drag as tight as possible because you're going to really want to crank this braid on here. You're going to want the braid to get on here as tight as possible. You don't want any tension or any loose braid on your bait casters. So right now I'm just going to hold this line down here and really crank it. You're going to really want to crank. It's kind of hard to do it while holding it and everything, but you're going to want to hold your braid as tight as possible, almost like a kink in it. And you're going to want to really, really crank that on there tight, as tight as possible. You don't want any loose line on your bait caster. So right now I'm just going to reel it on super tight. And like I said, you really want to try to get it tight as possible. So when you're casting, you're not going to have any backlashes. But right now, I'm just cranking it on. It's going on pretty good. And another thing is you don't want to put too much braid on because that's that can be really bad when you're casting. It'll get caught and this button right here and everything. Too much braid is bad, guys. You just wanna put enough to where you can cast. So that just ended the spool, or that just ended all the braid that was on that. Well, guys, that is gonna end today's video. I hope you guys learned how to put braided line onto a bait caster. I just finished up spooling that 50 pound braid on this bait caster, and it looks super good. I'm probably gonna have to get it a little tighter it was just hard to do everything while filming and holding up all the rod and reel and everything. But you guys got the point. Hopefully you guys like this technique on how to spool braid onto a bait caster. And let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of today's video. If I should make another video on how to spool braid on a spinning reel. But make sure to stay tuned for more how-to videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one.